Hey programmers, I'm back. I had this started and it didn't work so I've had to do some debugging and um, I really didn't do any debugging. I just remembered what I had lot forgot to do. We, um, what we're going to do is, and I've already done this coding, but I didn't type this in from scratch anyway because it's just too much typing. But I've created this a procedure or this method called create seg data grid and you have to go through by hand and create these columns and I'm gonna you can put this on large screen uh, and you can um, type it and it's just all it is is a lot of typing anytime I create one of these I always dread it but what I forgot to do was I forgot to put it in the load so um, load because before I would put it in the other one and then I would check this little flag of whether it was um, um, created, already created or not and redo it and I thought I, when I was working on this I thought well that's kind of a dumb thing to do I don't need to do that so we're going to say create uh oh uh, SED data grid we're going to put that in the load and before we go any further, we're just going to see if this works for us. Yay, it did. And of course, you know, and I can adjust this to make it bigger or smaller or, or whatever, which we might do. But I'm going to tell you what we've done. Okay. Um, I created these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six static variables uh, with with my other static variables. I'm going to take this spaced out and then I did that and then I created a new method. We can close load now and we can close create seg data grid and uh, we could make these big or some of them like seg ID. I'm going to give it 35 characters. Uh, in out, I'm going to give it 35 characters. Um, int time, I'm going to give it 60 characters. Uh, end date, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give them all 10 more characters because you notice we had that all that spare data at the end and I didn't want it. I wanted to fill the whole thing. It got completed. Um, I'm not going to give it any more characters unless it looks weird when we do it and type. I'm not going to give that any more characters. But anyway, back to our select PSEG. We created this and I passed it a string of the PREID and an integer of week and an integer of a seg ID. Okay? And um, we did our standard database read with our standard command a select star from seg where PREID equals PREID string. That's what we passed to it. And week equals week and seg ID equals seg ID. But before we did that, we initialized all those static variables to spaces. And then uh, we did our read. And if we got a valid read, we filled the static variables up with the fields from the database. Okay, so that's good. And, and also what we did, do you remember the last uh, video we said we're going to have a uh, method called get hours and segs. Okay, well we did. And right now I don't have anything passed to it, although I might could pass. Um, it doesn't really matter because uh, we're all in three. But if I wanted to pass something, I could pass the PREID and the week ID. But we're just using those text box fields. But we don't, so we don't have to. But we could if we wanted to. So anyway, in this get hours seg, I've created an array list called segrex equals new array list and um, you know array list is that's not uh, something that I created that standard um, object in C sharp and then I created me an integer of I X and I started equals one and then I had me a do while I say do right up here while I X is less than 100 and part of the new do as I run this select seg I said select seg and in this side of the print I send the PREID text box 3 and then I convert the week text box 3 to an integer and then I send it IX and so I do the read 
and then it comes back. And then if the, that in out field is equal to spaces, that means it didn't find anything. I check say ix equals to 101 and then it finishes and it'll quit. Otherwise, if it's uh, got data in it, we create, um, we add to the array list. We say segrex.add and those are all C sharp commands. I didn't create them. Um, you know, when you get deeper into C sharp, you can write your own libraries and you can write your own um, you know, objects and things like that, which I've definitely done it. So I'm not a fan of it, but you know, I can do it if I have to. Anyway, I pass it these variables uh, that we're going to have in this data grid. You know, I pass it ix, that is the seg ID. I convert to character that in out field. I pass it int time and I call that a string. And then I convert that. Um, the date time to a short date time string and then I send it completed in error and the type and then we increment ix to the next one and then when we're done there we have to say uh, I don't know if we really need this but I had it in so I'm keeping it in I said data grid view dot allow user to resize equals true and data grid dot allow user to resize row equals two and data grid allow generate columns equals false because we're going to create ours we don't want it to automatically do it and I said data grid view data source equals segrex so that is what fills it up so now that we've um, made those uh, fields bigger let's see how it looks Okay, it took a little bit of time, and I can, you know, we can make this little data grid a little bit smaller or whatever, um, because there's no sense in making these any bigger. They're they're plenty big. Uh, I might make the seg ID a little bit bigger because uh, it's highly unlikely you'll get more than, you know, what people usually have like four segs in a day, more than 20, 25 seg records, but we still want enough room, and you can play around with that and. Um, the next week, I plan on us, um, we're going to be having a, a group box that tally the hours for each day. And then we're going to have, I don't know if we'll get to this or not, but we're going to have a group box um, with the actual individual fields. So like whenever you click on one of these, the date will show at the bottom and then you can edit it if you want to. So anyway, that's all for today and I'll see you next time. Bye.